Welcome, welcome everybody. This is Gun Mage here, and I'm going to be showing you uh, the springs, spring options for the hammer shot. Now, uh, before I open it up, uh, I'm going to ch show you to check out the springs here. This is the, uh, oh, let me get it into focus here. It's uh, the normal hammer shot spring. You can see it's got a little tapering at the bottom because there, right here, down here, there is a little, uh, little jutting out on both sides, little pieces of plastic that it allows it to sit on. Now, I have purchased the uh, McMaster uh, 9657K449, that's a mouthful, <gasps> and there you go, that's that, you compare it to that, it is slightly smaller than the, uh, than the normal spring. So to fit it in there, I will show you right now. Unfortunately, since it is small, it is very tight fit to go into the hammer shot. I've got an extra hammer shot right here for you. As you see, there you go. That's it inside. Now I had to shave off the. It, this is on an X. I had to shave off the top and the side just for ease of it. I didn't even bother taking it out of its uh, out of its little holding here. I just popped it to the side and went over with some sandpaper and shaved it off and uh, it fits in perfectly unfortunately as you can see right there you see those two little uh, parts right there that's just enough for the flare of the original hammer shot to sit once you've done that it does prime slightly harder and if that's your sort of thing, then and you think shaving it down and uh, adding some sort of spacer there. Not a spacer, I mean a, a something for it to rest on. That would be your best bet. Uh, so far, this is the only spring that I could find by McMaster that actually will fit it and doesn't completely overpower the blaster. I also bought some spacers as well. Uh, I will show you them inserted into this hammer shot now. All right, I'm back. I have put in spacers in the blasters. I have removed the old, uh, the old spring, not the old spring, the uh, the new spring, the 449 uh, McMaster spring, uh, because like I was showing you, it was catching. Oh, wrong spring actually. Uh, it was catching right here at the bottom, and so I just completely removed it now because uh, I ended up going to uh, Home Depot. And I ended up picking two different spacers out. So, um, I'll show you right here. This one is, let me see, you just need to know those top numbers there. It is 595870. It's 1364. And I bought two of them so that I can place them right in there. Oh, let me get a better. There we go. All right. Uh, this is a great option because obviously uh, you can space it out however you like. Uh, they're 1364, so if you add them up, it is 3 eighths. No, not 3 eighths. Yes, 3 eighths. Excuse me. So, if you want, you have 1360s, 1364s, or a 3 eighths for that, which is great. It's a lot less strenuous to pull back the lever. Um, and then our second option right here is a full one half. It is number. 595741. So you get two of them in here, so it's perfect if I wanted to go and put them in both of my blasters, but I chose not to. Um, as for that, this one is extremely hard to prime. It's it's kind of a task to pull with one hand. It is still possible. Let's see. Oh god, that is that is rough. Um, like I said this one's three eighths of an inch, and it's not nearly as bad. It is actually rather nice. All right, conclusion. Uh, what should you be buying? Uh, definitely not McMaster Spring. Definitely not any other spring out there. What you want are these spacers. These spacers are the best. They cost 60 cents, 70 cents, something like that. Uh, I think it's 70 cents for these two and 60 for the, the doubles. Uh, it's a cheap, inexpensive way to 
upgrade your blaster. I don't see any other choice for you. Um, I personally don't like removing my air restrictors, but that's up to you. Uh, I fired them off, and they get at least at least 15 to 20 extra feet in in all my shots. Um, obviously, this one less from uh, less distance for that one because it's uh, what one eighth of an inch less, but it's negligible. But you definitely feel the difference when you're firing this one. Well, when uh, pulling the trigger. I'm sorry, not even pulling the trigger. The uh, pulling the lever, the the hammer. Yeah, the the draw on that is considerably less. It's a lot. It's noticeable. It's completely noticeable. And I recommend getting those two just if you want to continue uh, single firing with uh, with your uh, single hand. And if you want something stronger, or if you are a manly man, I would suggest getting this one right here. You can still prime it one-handed. It's just a beast. And if you're going to be using it all day, then you probably want to go with a weaker one. But, I mean, if you're going to shoot your five shots or even seven if you got the, the, the mod for it... Um, and you're just gonna be using it as a sidearm. I just recommend going with this one. It's not that bad. I mean, you're gonna, your thumb's gonna get a little workout, but there's no real problem with it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.